Today we're considering the blessing of a healthy heart. Your lungs force air and in and out through the windpipe to keep a fresh supply of oxygen. Your rate of breathing is about 12 times a minute when you're at rest. When you need more oxygen, like when you're running, the lungs increase this rate to supply extra oxygen. Red blood cells carry oxygen around the body stream. Each drop of blood has about 5 million of them. And when the oxygen has been released, they pick up carbon dioxide and carry it back to the lungs, what is taken out of the body when you breathe out. How incredible! We breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide, and the trees breathe in carbon dioxide and breathe out oxygen. This is all powered by our hearts. If you put your finger on the inside of your wrist, just below your thumb, you'll feel your pulse. Now, if you can't feel your pulse, ring 999. <laughs> this beats about 70 times a minute. Each beat pumps approximately one cupful of blood, and the body only holds 12 points, going around in an endless circle, which is why it's called circulation. The heart does more physical work than any other organ in the body. And by the end of a long life, it will have beat more than 3.5 billion times. So it's important we do everything we can to make sure we have a healthy heart. Get active. Give up smoking. Smoking is one of the main causes of heart disease. A year after giving up, your risk of a heart attack falls to about half of that of a smoker. Manage your weight. Take control of your weight. Stick to a well-balanced, low-fat diet. Combined with plenty of physical exercise will give you a healthier heart. Ditch the salt. Now, I love salt, but I've cut back so much on the salt intake because it increases and gives me a healthier heart. Check the food levels of what you eat. Look at the labels. See how much salt, see how much fat there is in there, and have your five a day. Each portion of fruit and vegetable a day will help you with a healthy heart. So we give thanks today for the amazing organ we call the heart. The fact that we breathe in proves our heart is working. We say a prayer for those who are suffering from heart disease, heart defects, and the consequences of that. And as we face today, let's do everything we can to have a healthy heart, to give it the best chance possible so we can live as long as we possibly can.